Welcome back everybody. Welcome to the Cold Hands Studio. You can have really dry and calm. I'm going to be doing a little tutorial for you embalmers today on some products that I really like. These bottles are empty and it's because I wanted to show you guys that this is a hocus pocus that I actually use these chemicals and I approve. So first we have a chemical called Petrosil. It's a 21.5 index, it's a cavity fluid and you're going to use one bottle of that. You're also gonna use edema eliminator and you're gonna use three three ounce bottles of serine. So I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna talk about these products um, a little bit and let you know what each one does. So these products are all really useful on their own. And I would say most times, most embalmers that I know use them all separately. Uh, Petrosil is typically used in the cavity. It's a great product. It's, it's drying and it'll dry out the tissue if you're using it um, after aspiration. Um, one of my faves, definitely a go-to for me. Uh, this product right here, Edema Eliminator, is a great product as well. And many embalmers use this product for edema. And what that, what that does is it really does shrink all of the tissue down. It'll remove any excess water in the body that you don't want. And you can put that really straight into your tank. Um, this product right here, people seem to get confused because of the packaging, but this is a cauterant and you can use this to dry tissue. Um, if you have restoration that needs to be done, um, if you're suturing up a incision, this is gonna cauterize that tissue. And so most embalmers are used to seeing this product in a bottle like this by other companies. This particular company, Pierce Company, offers them in these tiny little bot bottles for shipping purposes so that we can save um, money on hazard hazardous shipping costs. So I really appreciate them for doing that and I like to point that out. So when is a good time to mix all of these products together and what result are you gonna get? This is my go-to for autopsy cases. If I'm working on an autopsy and I remove the viscera from the body, I will actually put each one of these products in that bag and let the products do their work while I'm working on the body. While I'm embalming the body, these products are gonna do their job. At the end of my, my job, my autopsy work, I'll go back and before I insert the viscera back into the cavity, I will find that all of that tissue is gonna be really cauterized. And because I put that edema eliminator in there, it's gonna shrink a lot of those organs too. So not only are you gonna have really dry and compact organs, but you're gonna have cauterized organs because you've put the serine in there. And then you have your good old cavity fluid. Can you use other cavity fluids? Absolutely you can. I always recommend using a high index, whatever you use. This particular one is 21.5, um, but it does have a drying aspect to it. So that's why I really like this. And let me know what you guys think. Try it out. I'm a huge fan. I'm really thankful that another embalmer shared this tip with me and I wanna share it here with you today. So let's hear what you think in the comments. Until next time, happy embalming.